What's up guys, we are back in the United States of America. We landed in Orlando and we are going to Daytona Motor Speedway for an event called Bike Week. So we are back in America, super excited. We have an event at Daytona Speedway with Monster Energy called Bike Week. Four days of demos with Casey Curry, the FMX guys, Team Unknown. So we got like a big demo area and uh, we're gonna be doing a drift demo. I'd planned obviously for the GT86 to be here by now. It's not, it's been delayed. We had a couple of big setback obviously with the dyno and then there's some modifications we've had to do to the subframe so the car is still back home so obviously we needed a car to be able to do the demos here in America especially this one and some of the events coming up so I reached out to a bunch of our partners uh, Siki Manufacturing, uh, Competition Clutch just to name a couple of them that are based here in America and asked if any of them knew of a car that we could use as a demo vehicle to sort of stay here in America this year. And Siki luckily had a Infiniti G37S that they had used as a development vehicle. They'd already put an LS in it. They'd already driven it a bunch. The, you know, the owner of the company, James Evans, said it was a, a really fun car to drive when he'd driven it. So I've bought that car and we are now at a company called Raps for Less. Uh, in Orlando and they are going to be doing the graphics and the wrap for us. Through Fleet Livery Solutions back home they use a lot of material from a company called Arlon and Arlon uh, at the end of last year said to us you know we really want to work with you a little bit closer next year we want to do some more things. And so it all got lined up that we'd come to here uh, in Orlando wraps for less and they would wrap the car for us using Arlon material. So yeah, I haven't seen the car yet. We haven't finished the design. Uh, we're gonna go inside now, check out the car for the very first time and also meet the guys from Rap for Less who are gonna be looking after the car over the next two days to get it in its full livery in time for the event that starts on Friday. I mean, at least it sounds nice. It? <laughs> it sounds good. Yeah, yeah. It looks really, really good. I mean, bodywork and all that. Once you wrap it, you're probably not gonna see anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> considering you know buying a car over overseas, the, over like the, over the phone. other video yeah, yeah. and pictures. <laughs> Do you ever test this car on with that engine, or this is gonna be the first time? I've never, I, I've never driven a left-hand drive drift car let alone oh really yeah so this is gonna be the first time <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna get you on camera you driving a car for the first time yeah, in I've the other side i've done i mean I've, I've never drifted a uh i've never really drifted a left-hand drive car before, no so i'm Ooh. sure it won't be too spicy oh okay <laughs> oh don't worry i hope not anyway the fitment's pretty good on the back sam yeah fitment on the rear bump no semi-slips as well that's awesome there's a guess and they're using snap on even better. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now that you've seen the car, we can go in and ahead and sit down and see the design and yeah, everything. Yeah, and and everything is good and yeah, we go for it. Our car at home is this same livery. Mm -hmm. And our car at home has like a big body kit on it and really aggressive lines and looks like like really aggressive. This car is like obviously just a stock body. There's yeah. no body kit on it really. Yeah, I just uh, don't know how well the yellow's gonna look on the stock car compared to our race car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, I mean that. You think about the bag you know, that should stay yellow or make that grey as well? Maybe to change that to something else? I don't know, I think... Oh, you reckon keep it yellow? I don't know, I, I think I like it green. I mean, I like it green. I mean, all your brand, basically, it's like a, your trademark. Yeah, yeah. But if we're going to do the Bagsy yellow on the side, should we do the ba should we do the 13 logo in yellow on the top on the roof then? Uh, or do you think leave that as? Uh, I don't think they put that grey. I mean, there's too much yellow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got a list of jobs to do. We've sent over some parts of the car from home. We have some Sparco seats. We have a Sparco steering wheel. We've got a steering wheel boss to get in. We've got some seat. We've got the seat mounts as well. We've got the seat rails to go in. We've got to get the wheels and tires changed. Strom have sent us over some wheels for this car. So this would be a great time to tell everybody that we are going to be working with Strom wheels in 2024 and 2025. Some cool things planned. Some new wheels coming up for the Navara and the GTR. 
are but we'll get you know we'll tell you more about that as that progresses over the course of the next couple of months for now we need to get these wheels and tires off the car because we've got tires behind me to go on those wheels so we've got to go and find a tire shop and we've got to get the sparko seats and all the bits and pieces we sent with them from home in this car so everything's here everything's worked out pretty good the guys are going to get busy starting to wrap the car in a minute and we're going to also start getting organized uh here on our end but other than that i think we are rocking and rolling that clutch is heavy is it i mean yeah it's good i mean it feels like you just want to hit it nice so cool. if you wanted to work on the car well probably this is the moment okay perfect. Perfect. Weight on top. I'm to go I'm in. 13 stone. Is that good though, yeah? Yes, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I'll have to Fine. keep the secret thing out of it. But... Haven't we made it, my love? Oh, honey, look how we made it this far. Haven't we made it, my love? Oh, honey, look how we made it this far. stage of uh, sticking all the logos on the stressful part because you've got to try and get everything like squared up and level and looking right on the car thankfully I'm not Victor so I don't have to do it it's a bit like hate trying to get the yeah I'm trying to you know yeah, yeah. go here level there that you know that makes uh, I want it to make sense yeah because right here everything's flat so yeah that's the hardest part about trying to work on a render as well everything's yeah. flat Okay, after a very busy two days here at Raps for Less, the G37S is done. The livery is finished. The guys have worked two very long days. I think the car looks really good. It's kind of a GT86 copy, but at the same time with its own kind of color scheme. So yeah, we're gonna get some photos of the car now. We're gonna then get it in the trailer and get down to the track because we need to get the trailer and the car and all that in position for tomorrow because demos kick off tomorrow. We're gonna end this video here and we're gonna bring out another video from the event. This video has all been about getting the car ready and getting to the event. The next video coming out in the next couple of days will be all about what we get up to down at Daytona Motor Speedway for Bike Week with Monster Energy. For now, I hope you guys like the car and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.